Cap Mac, one, two, one, two, one, two. Wait, it's working, it's working. I got it working for this episode. Woo! Right. Again, apologies for the uh, episode before this one. I had issues with my microphone. It just wasn't working in OBS. But now it's working. So, let's continue on with the game. So, last time we defended Ukris or Hashan from the Imperial Army or Empire, whichever you want to call them. Um, and now we've got to go back for, I think, maybe round two. So we're going back to the palace now to go speak to Cassius and Melridge and see what they say. The battle of attrition continues. Our ambushes in the last fight took a modest toll on the enemy, but we still remain outnumbered. Still remain outnumbered. Oh dear. This time. Noah's allied troops and the White Sands mercenaries will fight on the defensive line. Okay. Hold a keen edge out there, both of you, and be ready for anything. <laughs> if there's one thing the White Sands know, it's how to hold a keen edge. <laughs> and your troops, Commander Noah? Ready to go. You darn tootin' we are! No. You'll find me in the kitchen when this is done, preparing our victory feast. Do come have a taste, won't you? You Grissians! Take heart from yesterday's victory! But do not take your enemy lightly! For Here we go. How droll that they consider that a victory. They merely bought themselves another few hours to breathe. For today, it will all come crashing down around them. In the name of His Excellency, the Emperor. Mm. I'm gonna pincer them and see if that works. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Have we done nothing to blunt the Empire's strength? The enemy is formidable. Don't approach them lightly. Tighten up, everyone! Been a while since I had to work this hard for my wage. Another tough fight in our hands today. Definitely seems it. Our objective is to drag it out for as long as we can while minimizing our losses. I'll keep him exactly there, may as well. Take that, wimps! 
They are a powerful foe. We must find a way to turn the tide. Hold strong! Remember your contract! And remember that death in battle is the greatest end a warrior can ask for! <laughs> Advance! The hour of battle is upon us! Enemy unit defeated. But stay alert. The enemy flees! Victory is ours! The enemy fled again. Should defeat these four now. Listen to me, everyone. You may have heard the rumors already, but His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. Then it's true. Duke's oh, shit. is the man behind it. I have had ample opportunity to witness the Duke's tyranny and have come to believe the invasion of Eucris is not just. Therefore, pursuing it would be a stain on the Empire's honor. This is not an order. Those who do not wish to follow me will receive no punishment. But on this day, I turn my banners in revolt against Dukes Aldrich. I fight to return the Empire to a just and righteous path. Oh shit. So did you join our team? Cheering. Your family's soldiers are true to their house, Lieutenant. They stand with you, and they're all fools. So what does that make you? The woman responsible for keeping fools in line, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Disarray in the Imperial ranks? What is happening? What does this mean? Look, it's sane. I do not understand what is happening, but I know a potential opportunity when I see it. Protect that company of turncoats! That company is under the Kessling boy's command. The lad takes after his brother. The enemy unit is destroyed. Keep fighting! There we go. We should kill all these now. And there we go. Retreat! General Chapel, order your troops to withdraw. I cannot believe the great General Goldwyn would say such a thing. We must annihilate these pathetic traitors at once. <laughs> What we must do is learn the truth of the Emperor's assassination. Until that happens, this war cannot continue. All units, fall in! We withdraw at once, and with- Yes, sir. But, but this is absurd! We need just win this one battle so I can deliver the news to Dukes Aldrich and- Do as you will. But I have no intention of fighting for your dukes. No. I shall never retreat. My host is more than sufficient to handle this motley force. General Goldwyn's legion has stood down. But why? My projections appear to have come true. I assure you, Goldwyn's retreat is no feint. Something has transpired inside the Empire. Mm -hmm. Which means we can finish this here and now. Nice.
He's retreating still. Dane's destroying him. <laughs> they retreated. Right, if I move up here. There we go. This should be the end of him now, to be fair. Yeah, I think he's dead now. I think Sane's battered him. Fair play. We've destroyed the enemy battalion, but don't let down your guard. But, but I was to claim victory here, me, for the glory of Duke's Aldrich. Damnation. <laughs> Is it over? Looks like it is. We saved you, Chris. Uh, we did <clears throat> do that, right? Maybe. Indeed. Victory is ours. Oh, yeah! That's how it's done, cousin! Well fought, Noah. You comported yourself with great skill. You might be longer for this world than I thought. <laughs> I have protected my kingdom and my king. And there we go. That's brilliant, that is. I, I love the little. What's it? Has Sean defended? There we go. The Imperial Army has quit our territory, Your Majesty. Our scouts expect them to continue withdrawing to the north. Then. We won? Yes, your majesty. We won. That's... that's wonderful. Yes, thank you all so much. I owe a great debt to you and the Allied Army. Thank you for fighting at our side. Mm, victory is ours. It was a mutual effort. It was a mutual effort, your majesty. You needn't shy away from credit, Noah. Our successes thus far are in no small measure thanks to you. Yeah, so let's see a little swagger already. <laughs> I gotta agree. <laughs> <laughs> we finally gave those imps the shellacking they deserve, and there's no harm in savoring it. <laughs> Fair enough. My concern is that I fail to understand what prompted Goldwyn's troops to withdraw. Oh, um... Huh. Was that some scheme of yours, Malrich? No, no. I fear I am as in the dark as the rest of you. However, I suspect... Perhaps I can shed some light on that. Yep, it's sane. It's sane? <sighs> This Imperial officer and his people just surrendered to us, Commander. I had a feeling it would be you. A pleasure to see you again, Noah. Been a while, Lieutenant. So, uh, thanks for switching sides and all, but, uh, why? I harbor suspicions which have driven me to leave the Empire. Suspicions related to General Goldwyn's abrupt retreat. Yes. If you don't know, His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. <gasps> Shock. What? The Emperor of Galdia? 
But why? How? Duke's Eldrick is how. While we lack solid evidence of such, the information we've gathered certainly raises the possibility. So that's why they all turned tail and ran. This Duke's guy must be a first-class moron. Way to make your move at the worst possible time, you dope. Yeah, that didn't make sense, actually. I will return to the castle on the morrow. Our troops must be reorganized before we can carry on to Norrister. And you, Melridge? Actually, I have received the King's blessing to make myself useful within the Alliance. If you are amiable, I feel I can respond more nimbly stationed at your headquarters. So you expect our battle with the Empire to continue? Yes. Oh, I believe it has only just begun. Duke Saldric's ambitions clearly extend beyond the Galdian throne. The invasion of Eucris was simply a tidy way to displace the general for a time. It certainly is beginning to look that way. Goldwyn was ever the late Emperor's staunchest loyalist. Once Aldric sent him far from home, he used that time to sow the seeds of a coup. He's a ruthless and cunning man, and no mistake. But I dare say you may be his equal. It pleases me to have you on our side. <laughs> oh, I don't think I am the cunning one here. After all, you didn't hand your army over to that Noah boy for no reason. This has been your plan from the start. Yes. Well... Still, if the Resistance army was led by the Countess of Groom, it would invite no end of suspicion. Tongues would wag about my agenda, my ambition. But a commoner turned hero rising up against the Empire's tyranny? Now that's the sort of story that resonates with people. After all, who doesn't love an underdog? Very true. Very, so, very true. What is it that you hope to gain from all this, milady? Clearly not prestige. Clearly not. No. My wish is far more modest. You just want Jukes to be killed, don't you? Hey, Noah. You sleep okay? We've got a lot more fighting ahead. We should head over to the Great Hall, some kind of meeting. Hmm. The amount of times we've had to run back to the palace. So annoying. Oh, the Great Hall. I forgot that we're back here. So we're back at our castle now. What's good, actually, to be fair. Now that Commander Noah has joined us, we can begin. Okay, first, begin what? And second, aren't you supposed to be in you, Chris? King Yuma, in his wisdom, has granted me permission to serve the Alliance. I intend to do so to the best of my abilities. Nice. Malwich join the party. Curator and Tactician. Reminds me of someone out of Dynasty Warriors, but I can't put my finger on it. I'll figure it out later. And seeing as I'm still under contract with the Tactician, I guess I'm coming aboard as well. Bad boy. Desert mercenary. Not gonna complain about that. You fought like a demon in you, Chris. Then it's settled. Melridge will be chief strategist and advisor to the Alliance's new permanent commander, Noah. Wait, what? I'll put uh, but I'm just filling in for you. Uh, but I'm just filling in for you, right? I mean, I'm not a leader. Not a real one, anyway. Not a leader? The man who secured the use of this castle? Oh, the music changed. Forged an alliance with the tree folk? Who won the battle for you, Chris? Do try to show a little more confidence. But... I thought you liked to meddle. If so, it's time to plunge your nose into something that counts. You can help more than a person here or a person there. You can help entire nations. Fair enough. Um, I guess. But look. <laughs> Looks like you got an occasion to rise to, Noah. You okay with this, Ymir? Her ladyship and I have discussed it, if that is what you mean. 
This is already way more fun than Imperial meetings. <laughs> I'd like to take this moment to formally offer my help, Noah. Oh, nice. We get Sane. I might actually have put Sane into the main team. Ooh, I might have to. no longer pursues a righteous path. But by standing with you, I believe she can yet be saved. Sounds like you found a new calling. I have. I will set aside my duty to House Kessling. Follow the dictates of my own heart. Chills, Zane. Chills. Also, that look in your face tells me you're doing the right thing. Oh, Jane. Give me some like mechanic. Technology research it, okay. Oh? I don't feel like my expression is any different. Because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Valentin joined. Comedian, brave Imperial officer. I thought, I thought it was going to call comedian. I do hate to spoil the mood, but I was hoping we might discuss next steps. If I... Uh, he's asking you, kiddo? Huh? Oh, I, I guess I do this kind of thing now, huh? Sure, Melridge. Go ahead. <clears throat> As of now, the Empire has pulled its forces out of Eucris, but yet remains a heavy presence in Gru. We must be prepared for when Duke's Aldrich inevitably resumes his efforts to subjugate the League of Nations. Which I'm guessing will happen soon. There are two ways to effectively use the time we have left. The first is to gather as many allies as we possibly can. If I might interrupt, I have an idea about that. What about Imperciark, the Shiark capital in the desert east of Eucharist? Oh. Uh, she who now? She who? The Shi'ans. As a mercenary, I've had plenty of chances to fight both with and against them. They're strong warriors who prize valor above all else. A fine idea. As it happens, I've already secured the king's permission to use Eucharist's desert checkpoint. Commander Noah, might I ask you to go to Imperciark and seek their help? You should take Bernard as your guide. Checkpoints northeast of Haishan. From there, we'll cross the mountains into the gateway town of Dabavin. I'll explain more as we go. Sounds good. Now, as for the other way to make a difference, at this moment, the Dukes is no doubt engaged with fallout from the Emperor's assassination. The sooner that's quelled, the sooner he can turn his attentions to us. Which means we need to keep that chaos churning for as long as possible. I have asked Lieutenant Kesling for his assistance in this matter. We have already reached out to the late Emperor's loyalists in Galdea. Naturally, they aren't keen on Aldrich seizing power. We think it's better for us to go talk to them, since there are people and all. Which means we'll be working separately for a bit. <sighs> Probably for the best. Many here in the Alliance will need time to trust us, and understandably so. Hey, for what it's worth, I totally trust you guys. Thanks, Leon. The others will come around once they get to know the lieutenant. Sane's group will work independently to gather intel within the Empire and sabotage the Duke's plans. Is it going to separate us? Is it going to make me play as Noah and Sane now? Is it going to make me play as both of them at one point? That's my Do guess. everything in your power to destabilize his grip and delay his ability to resume the invasion. You can count on us. I will serve as a messenger, traveling back and forth between this castle and the Empire. Okay. Flawless aid. Nice. You, uh, probably want a little help with that? Please. There you go. So I can actively now switch between Sane and Noah. That is actually insane. Right. Yes, so Euphus, we'll, we'll throw you in the back again. Apparently Bernard is a mandatory person I have to use. I'll throw him there for now. If you leave me, I'm yours.
I had Garth. Ayugo, who's my beast. You caught me when I was warmed up. And at the rear, it was Zabby. I think it was the other one. It wasn't Kurto, I changed it, didn't I? I changed it to someone else. Or did I? I know Kurto is all 33. Yeah, it's got to be Kurto. An inspiring speech, increasing all eyes, attacking speed. Doubles back, he collected. Enables you to spawn parties. Uh, you know what? We're going to get Janquish. There we go. I'm pleased to have that settled. Commander Noah, Lieutenant Kessling. Good luck to you. Thank you. We'll knock your socks off. We'll try not to let you down. Oh, we might even let you up. I don't know what that means. Two simultaneous operations. One to gather allies, and one to disrupt the enemy. Pressure's on, Sane. Who's gonna finish first? Technically, neither task is one that can be completely finished. There he goes, fretting the details again. <laughs> uh, yep, some things never change. That, that's awesome though. And I've only just noticed in the background, by the way, if we go back to the Great Hall, let me show you something. I've only just noticed it. But, blue and red. Who wears red? No, who wears blue? Same. It's a part of them two. Surely it's something to do with them two. Right. So we've done quite a bit of recruitment. So now... I want to go see... About this here. In a building mood, are we? we have done quite a lot on this, by the way. We did quite a lot on this previously. Um... Need more Misty Crumbie. Dude, dude, excellent lacquer. Okay. We will do a Heroes Den renovation. Sorry. Why not? What a beautiful inn we've made. And this is where it's going to come to the point now where I really do need to start finding people. I've already found her. Need the Mystic Combo though. Haven't found him yet. Haven't found them. I found him, but I need to capture something what I can't. I don't think I can get yet. I may as well just upgrade stuff while I can. I can't upgrade that. Who is it that? Hmm. I need to know who it is that can do that one. Please come back. Okay. Oh. To reach the desert, we need to pass through a checkpoint northeast of Haishan. Then let's set off. Perhaps we can ask Carrie to teleport us as far as Haishan. Funny enough, she's right there. Right. So what I'm going to do is really quickly... Know that there's some people that we could recruit up here before. All right. One perfect teleportation. I can't remember exactly what it was. Just someone else that we could recruit up here. So we've got the G Georgina here. I wonder if there's someone else. Who's this? What's that? Oh, hi. 
Have you got a soft spot for eggfoots like I do? They're pretty neat. I know. Aren't they the best? They're so fluffy and huggable and oh, I could just eat them up. <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> Go on. Uh, you can pet it. Hey, you're right. It's soft as velvet. And surprisingly friendly, too. That's what makes these sweethearts so special. Not to mention, they run like the wind. There's so much to like. I think I've got you know, a lot of... I'm looking uh... for talented people to join the Alliance. Not just warriors, but people who can make our town a bigger Ooh, okay. and better place. I think I've got a lot of people I can recruit here, so... Really? Well... You know what you should build? A racetrack for the Eggfoots. Million Bakwa idea, right? Ah, oh, but I guess we'd need a lot more of these fellas for something like that to work. Probably. All right. How? Well, if you could bring me some Eggfoot eggs, that would be a great start. They can be standard grade. Just five plain old eggs should do the trick. Consider it done. Thank you. I'm going to train them into the fastest eggfoots the racing world has ever seen. Oh, I need one more, man. Oh, I thought I already had enough. Oh, okay. Sure, there's someone else unique here, though. There's no one up there, no one up there. Okay. I'm trying to wonder though, with the um with the um what's it Bagoma game now, I wonder if a few people join you after you beat them at a, a game of Bagoma maybe. I'll definitely be coming back for her though. No, because you won't join us. <laughs> You're not a unique character. Hmm. Go on, go on. Oh, here we go. Here's a... I didn't see him there. Pink hair, though. This will probably be the guy. Accept that challenge any day of the week. Oh, yeah. And with that, my deck just got even stronger. Hmm? Uh, hey! Yeah, 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 You, over there. You like card games? <laughs> sure, I dabble. Sure, I dabble. Can I give it a try? Now that's what I like to hear. Let's get right to it, my friend. Here are the rules. Oh, wow. Each player plays their cards into one of the three battlefields. As they choose, each battlefield gains power and based on values and skills of the cards. And it, when each battle has three cards played into it, the higher power wins. Ah, oh, I'm... We'll see how we get on. Clear enough? First deck's on me. I want everyone to love this game as much as I do, so I always bring along a few extra card sets. Oh, I get it. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. Can't tell you how happy I am to hear you say so. Let's play. You got it. I'll try not to burn you too bad with my mega powerful Scorcher deck. Oh, wow. Okay. You're on. Let the duel begin. Card of Destiny, I, I choose go. you. Beat this. Draw. Card of Destiny, Here I, I go. choose you. Draw. 
But if I don't want to discard one. Oh. Beak this. Card of destiny. My I turn. choose you. Formation. My turn. Okay. We've all got to be the. Oh. Showdown. Cool. Card versus card. My turn. Get rid of that one. Oh, yes. You won't stop me now. This is calm. Here I go. Oh. Showdown. We, we've won that one. Look at that. We've won. Gotcha. So we won one and left. No I think I will win the one on the right as well. I don't think I'm going to now. Oh, now nah, one point. But I win. I win in total. That's actually really cool. I like that. I like that. It's really cool. I win. I win. More like I won? Dang. You are seriously good at this. Well, that sells it. I'm going with you, friend. Only way to get stronger. Wait, really? And once I do, I'm going to take you down in a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. I'm always happy to have more comrades. There we go. Glenn has joined us. Duelist. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh! all over again, isn't it? So, do you, like fight using the cards as shurikens or something? <laughs> what? But I will teach everyone in that town of yours how to play and kick butts that way. It'll Fair boost play. morale. Probably give you a stronger army in the long run. You okay. As you already know, we're doing loads of recruitment, so I can't recruit the person there now. Um, I'm gonna check Wayne Village. All right. There's a few what? people there. <laughs> if I remember last time. Hmm. So there was always this girl that's been here all this time. If I don't know better, I'd say that. Um, okay, so n not here. Is there anyone? There's someone else in the watch normally down here as well. Okay, so not here. As we found out though, at Aaron's side, 
looking around now for more recruits is always good because it's definitely got to be here. Definitely. Hey there. What are you in the market for today? Stalwart companions. Uh, I can check to see if we have some in back. Oh, you meant me. Yeah. Okay. I'm interested. But you really gotta let me punch up your style game first. <laughs> I can't be seen with a man who wastes his looks dressing like that. My boy Noah's fucking... What's it? What's mean? Do you think this breastplate looks great on you? Oh, especially with this shirt here. Oh my gosh, look at you, that's perfect. Why not try on this armor too? Oh, definitely. This is so you. See, I knew there was a good looking guy buried under all that blah. All right, that settles it. I think I like you. So that's one stalwart companion at your service. And it just so happens I've been looking for a nice, quiet place to ply my trade anyway. Nice. Join us. All right, it is on. My name is Frida, and I'm your new armorer. Yes, I'll keep that's you safe good. in battle. Oh. And make sure you look damn good while I'm at it. Right, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna try run around, get some recruitment done, and see if there's anyone else that we can get. So we've got Frida there now. Do any of these unique? No, you don't. Oh, they they do a certain color. We'll check. There we go, my little friends. Grow up hale and hearty for me. Ah, don't mind me. I was just tending these crops. Did you need something? Actually, I'm seeking out new recruits. Oh, you're from the Alliance? Well, I don't know the first thing about fighting. Don't care much to learn, neither. Work in the fields is all I know. Would that be of any help to you? Fuck yes, it would, mate. I sure wouldn't mind having some land of my own. There's nothing I love more than seeing my veggie pals grow big and strong. Then come grow them for the Alliance. We have no shortage of bellies to fill. Oh, you don't say. Well, plants in a field is plant in the future, you know. War might be here, but folks don't stop needing to eat. Without a hearty bowl of grub, the war will be over before your troops even swing a sword. <laughs> Or maybe I've just eaten more than my peck of dirt. <laughs> Without a heavy ball grub, there will be. A, I feel the same. I feel the same. In many ways, I think our future is rooted in normal aspects of daily life. Oh, seems like you and me got our broccoli in the same basket. <laughs> so, are you sure there's a place for me in the alliance? Join us. Well, rightio. The name's Peter. Mighty glad to meet you. I'll Sir. work those fields day and night to keep the bellies of all my new pals happy and full. Nice. That's what we want. So we just recruited two people here. That's actually... Really good. Anyone else around here that may look unique? Apart from him being a twat. Okay, so. So we know we've got Pak... Is it Pakui? Pakui? I don't know how you pronounce the name. So. She's there. Hmm. Alright. One perfect... We're going to go for a walk. <sighs> go for a walk this way. Just for now. 
Like, you never know who we might run into running into these areas. Like, the mines, for example. We can't abuse what's it too much. Oh, there's someone. Is that something? That's not someone there. Bastard. See you later. That's it. But yeah, we we need to make sure that we're always checking everything. Cause like I say, if I had, if I didn't go back through the mines and see all those people, we wouldn't have uh, got them three new people. Was it Ormond, um, Hero, and um, what's your guy's name? There's another name. I think it was our blacksmith. Was it blacksmith guy? Yeah, the guy, the mining guy. So not the blacksmith. We do, however, need to get a blacksmith. So we've got an armor. We've got a guy that can plow the fields. Mm. We'll just run. Do, 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 I feel like I'm just running around like I was checking at this point because I want to make sure that we're getting all the right people. Oh, very well. Right, fuck it, let's kill him. Not even worth sullying my blade. I just don't know if it's worth doing the recruitment now while we're here or. It's worth just right now. Oh, hello. There's some unique guy there. Flex and okay. See that? Magic. Only by magic can a person focus destructive energy into a single point and transform boulders to dust. Phew! This guy's really something, huh? Heed my words. Let's slip your hesitancy and join me in pursuing the way of the spellcaster. Actually, we were hoping you might join us, considering you're so good at magic. Ah, how fortuitous. Perhaps the time has indeed come for me to dazzle the world with my finely toned sorcery. That said, I fear I flex these bulging skills for fellow magical prodigies alone. Let me have a look at you. <sighs> Alas, no. None of you have enough muscle points to meet my standards. Muscle. Muscle points are the most important metric for spellcaster. They're what power your powers. If you wish me to lend my massive, sweaty talent to your own, return here with a prodigious individual that oozes muscle points. Only with such a person by my side can I curl my way to new magical heights. We've got a Zabby in the party, do Let us waste no time. Poor Zabby was a magic caster. I 
passé. Okay. Can I? I can't. So I've got to run. Okay. Do 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 do. Kind of annoyed that we need a magic caster just to get him. But I guess it's one of those. Let's do this. Let's just uh, keep running down here. So I wonder if he's a really good magic caster then. If you're only joining people for that. Oh, I just see it. We've got a save point there, didn't we? Right then, guys. So we've got a save point there. I'm going to go and sort out my party so we can go recruit Murius. So when we come back, we'll probably be right where Murius is. And then we'll go from there. We're probably going to do a lot of recruitment. That's our job at the moment. Let's go around doing recruitment. So I'll go do that. Uh, I'll probably get the eggs as well just ready in preparation so thank you very much for watching guys be sure to subscribe leave a like and i'll catch you again next episode peace out bye